We'll get right into it. Let's begin by selecting the desired shape. We will select the square for starters. As seen by the instructions along the top, we can either enter the length of one of the sides or the diagonal length. We will enter a side length of two. Notice that the calculation was performed as soon as we entered the required number of inputs. Obviously, pressing a convert button is not necessary. Another feature seen here is the calculation of the diagonal length in addition to the area and perimeter. Watch how easy it is to enter diagonal length. Notice how the calculator clears the other input box and calculates the area, perimeter, and side length. To add the current area result to the running total, select the menu. Select running total and add. Note the running total can keep track of multiple shapes. To subtract the area from the total, select subtract. To clear the running total, select clear. Other shapes work the same way. Let's now select the segment of a circle. This time we are instructed to enter any two inputs. We will enter a radius of 7 first, as the order does not matter. We will enter 11 for the arc length. In addition to the area and perimeter, all the other parameters are immediately calculated. Notice the angle of 90 degrees was cal calculated for the angle. We may want to use radians rather than degrees, and this is easy to do. Select the menu, then options, then radians. Notice the value is now about half the value of pi equivalent to the 90 degrees seen previously. While you are using Area Calculator, look for the latest notifications relevant to this application or other useful product releases. What's more, if you come up with any ideas or suggestions, you can leave us feedback directly from the About screen. If connected to the internet, selecting Send will deliver the message automatically. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial.